to compute the three-stage least squares estimate of the coefficients for demand and supply, I'm going to refer you to equation 1331 in the sixth edition of William H. Green's econometric analysis. And that equation is the inverse of Z hat transpose times the Kronecker product of the inverse of the sigma matrix and the identity matrix times z hat. And we're going to put that um, calculation in this pinkish box. Then you multiply that by the product of z hat, the, the transpose of z hat, again times the Kronecker product of the inverse of the sigma matrix and the identity matrix times y, and that'll go in the y box. But first we're going to do the first part. Now I, I split it into two because the square roots of the diagonal elements of this pink box are going to be the standard errors um, for three stage least squares estimates. That's why I'm splitting it into two. Okay, so we're going to proceed by highlighting all these boxes, and notice it's six by six. And the reason why it's six by six is because we're going to end up having three coefficients per equation. The first three correspond to demand, the last three correspond to supply. And we're going to type M inverse, close parenthesis, M multiply, parenthesis, M multiply, parenthesis, transpose, Z underscore hat, comma, the uh, Kronecker product of the inverse of sigma and identity matrix, comma, Z hat. And again, you hit control shift, enter. Okay. Now let's just think about that again. We have Z hat, we have the Kronecker product, and we have Z hat. Well, what was a Z hat? Let's go back to the second stage. We defined these numbers here, this block matrix, as Z hat, Z underscore hat. And then we defined or named this 36 by 36 as EXI, which is the Kronecker product of the inverse of the sigma matrix and the identity matrix. And this is kind of a cool way to do it because, again, the square roots of these are going to be the standard errors of our three stage least squares estimates. Next, we're going to compute the vector of numbers for the yellow cells. And they're computed by taking the transpose of z hat times the Kronecker product of the inverse in the sigma matrix and the identity matrix times the stacked y. So we're going to type in equal m multiply, matrix multiply, parenthesis, again m multiply, uh, parenthesis, transpose z hat, comma, the Kronecker product of the inverse of the sigma matrix and the identity, comma, the stacked y, y underscore. We control shift enter and Excel automatically does the matrix multiplication. Now to get the three stage least squares coefficients, remember there's three of them for uh, the demand equation and three of them for the supply equation. So we need to highlight a six by one set of cells. And I've already typed it in as you can see. We used to equal matrix multiply the blue matrix times the green matrix. And we hit control shift enter 
and we get the slope coefficient for the demand curve. We get the slope coefficient for the supply curve. Notice the supply, the law of supply and the law of demand hold. We have the estimated coefficient for taste or time. We have the intercept for the demand equation. We have the intercept for the supply equation. And we have the estimated uh, coefficient for the weather index. Now the standard error, um, again, is just the square root of these diagonal elements, which was kind of handy. So we got the square root of that number, the square root of that number, all along the diagonal. Now the cool thing is, if you use Stata and you use this code here, reg3 parenthesis qd equal p space t close parenthesis parenthesis qs equal p space w close parenthesis comma inst instruments for instruments t and w and then use the option small you get the same exact coefficients and standard errors okay now um, we can compare this three-stage least squares estimates to this two-stage least squares estimates. Now, these look pretty close to their two-stage counterparts, don't they? Recall that the two-stage estimates were negative 545.78, 938.44, negative, um, I don't know, 1.8 million, then we have 944.25, 129.57, and negative 14,492. I'm going to copy these, and I'm going to paste them right here. And then I'm going to compute their difference with three stage least squares. And you can see that, you know, maybe in this particular example, that three stage least squares was overkill. Um, because it looks like the two stage least squares estimates, with the exception of the constant, are really, really, really close to their three stage counterparts. So um, maybe two stage least squares was sufficient. And it looks like it is. Um, I doubt the Hausman test of uh, testing three stage least squares versus two stage least squares is going to uh, conclude with, hey, three stage least squares is, is needed. And the reason why this is, is probably due to the fact that the errors are not correlated across equations.